Hey guys, welcome back to Read With Me, LG. I have another Berenstain Bears book for you guys. I have quite the collection of these, but you guys always seem to enjoy the Berenstain Bears. So we have one that's Christmas theme, Christmas theme today, and that's the Berenstain Bears and the Joy of Giving. And this one is written by Jan and Mike Berenstain, um, and that is a mother and son combo. So some of the Berenstain Bears are written by Jan and her husband, Stan, and then some are written by Jan and her, and her son, Mike. So that one's this one. All right. So we're going to jump right in to the Berenstain Bears and the joy of giving. It was the week before Christmas, and all over bear country, everyone was busy getting ready for the big day. They were Christmas shopping and Christmas decorating and Christmas everything. Down at the chapel in the woods, the cubs of bear country were busy getting ready for their Christmas Eve play. There's all the happenings of bear country. It was the story of the first Christmas, and brother and sister had an important role. They were to be the camel of the three wise bears. Sister was the front end of the camel, and brother brought up the rear. They thought it was the best costume ever. Mrs. Ursula, their Sunday school teacher, was directing. All right, wise bears, she called. Under stage right. So there's brother and sister bear in their camel costume, and there's Mrs. Ursula getting ready for the day. The three wise bears came on stage. They carried gifts and wore long robes, crowns, and fake beards. They followed the Christmas star made of foil-covered cardboard that hung above the stage. The first wise bear was played by Sammy Bruno, who had a loose front tooth that made him a little hard to understand. A thar, a thar, he cried. I, I thee, a thar. Mrs. Ursula sighed. Okay, camel, she called. You're on. Sister and brother followed the three wise bears. But it was hard to see out of the costume, and sister accidentally knocked over a palm tree. The three wise bears tripped, going down in a triangle. There he is with his little loose tooth. Oh dear, oh dear, said Mrs. Ursula. Will we ever be ready? Sorry, Mrs. Ursula, said sister, poking her head out. It's hard to see in there. I'll need to make your peepholes bigger, said Mrs. Ursula. That's enough for today, cubs. It's time to go home. The cubs took off their costumes and went into the chilly evening air. Brr, shivered sister. It's beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. Yeah, agreed brother. And looking that way, too. The whole neighborhood was decorated for Christmas. Sister and brother walked home in the soft glow of many colored lights. So there's the kerfuffle that happened at the play. And there's their beautiful little neighborhood, all decorated for Christmas. The next day, the Bear family went shopping. It was time for brother and sister to pick out a few special gifts. This year, they had two crisp $10 bills from Grizzly Gramps and Gran to spend on others. Of course, brother and sister hoped they would have some money left for themselves. Sister was saving for a brand new Barbie doll. And brother wanted a special rubber band powered model airplane. So they were given money to go get other people gifts. But they're thinking about their own, right? Papa and Honey helped brother do his shopping while Mama went with sister. Brother picked out a Barbie doll outfit that he found on sale for sister. And sister bought a small airplane model for brother. Each cost just a few dollars. Mama and Papa thought that maybe each cub should have spent more money on the other. What about the joy of giving? whispered Mama to Papa. It seems brother and sister only care about the joy of getting. True, agreed Papa, but let's not interfere. They'll learn about the joy of giving for themselves. So there they are shopping, and Mama and Papa both are like, eh, you could do better. But they're just going to watch and see, they decided. 
his brother and sister learn on their own. Over the next few days, Christmas excitement in bear country grew and grew. Brother and sister could hardly wait. They were going to be a camel and get lots of presents too. Play rehearsals went well. Sister could see better out of the bigger peepholes, and everyone knew their lines. But it was still a little hard to understand Sammy Bruno. When Christmas Eve finally arrived, practically everyone in bear country jammed the chapel in the woods to see the cubs perform. A hush fell as the curtain opened. The curtain opened and the play began. So everything's getting ready. There they are about to start the play, right? First, the angel Gabriel came to Mary telling her that she would give birth to Jesus. Then Joseph and Mary journeyed to Bethlehem where the innkeeper gave them shelter in a stable. There, Mary gave birth to a tiny baby who was laid in a manger. So this is the story of Christmas, the first Christmas, which was the birth of Jesus. An angel of the Lord appeared to the shepherds, sharing the good news of Jesus' birth so that they could go and worship the newborn king. Finally, the three wise bears and their faithful camel trooped on stage. The foil-covered Christmas star hung high above the stable, sparkling in the spotlight. A star, a star, I see a star. Sammy had clearly, Sammy said clearly, his loose tooth had come out backstage. He lost his tooth just in time so he could say the words right. Did you see the star? Yeah, there it is right there. The three wise bears bears kneeled before Mary, Joseph, and Jesus. The shepherds and the angel joined them. Everyone bowed low before the tender baby. The three wise bears opened their treasures and gave Jesus their precious gifts. The audience grew very still. Then someone in the back began to softly sing. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. And the rest of the audience joined in near the end. Sleep in heavenly peace. Sleep in heavenly peace. So there they are. The end of the performance. Peeking out of the camel costume, tears came to sisters and brothers' eyes. It seemed they had never understood the joy of giving until that moment. All the gifts of all the Christmases of all the years went back to those first gifts given to the tiny baby long ago. The Christmas Eve play was over and the audience cheered. Everyone felt the true spirit of Christmas had been with them that night. On Christmas morning, brother and sister led the family downstairs bright and early, but instead of heading to their own pile of presents, they went to their gifts for each other. Merry Christmas, she said, holding out their presents. From one end of the camel to the other, said brother. Thanks, laughed sister. You're a first-rate backup. Brother and sister were delighted with their gifts and gave each other big bear hugs. Honey opened her presents and brother and sister joined in. In the back of their minds, though, they were still thinking about the money they had left over from their shopping trip. So there they are going to give each other their gifts. And they're thinking, yeah, that was really nice and fun, but we do have a little left that we didn't spend on each other. Later that morning, the family went to the chapel in the woods for the Christmas Day service. A light snow covered the ground and all of bear country glistened in the sun. On the way, sister and brother noticed a group of bears playing Christmas carols. They were collecting money for the needy in a big black pot. Brother and sister looked at each other, dug into their pockets, and dropped all of their money into the pot. So they realized that's a way they could still do something for others with their money, right? Mama and Papa smiled with pride. You know what the good book says, Mama told them. It is more blessed to give than to receive. We know, said brother. We receive an awful lot, so it's time we gave some of it back. Look, said sister, feeling in her pocket. I still have a quarter. Honey reached for it, and sister put it in her hand. 
Then little honey, holding on to Papa, toddled over to the big black pot and dropped the quarter in. The bears playing music paused. Merry Christmas, they all said. So even little honey, she saw what her older siblings did, so she wanted to help too. Merry Christmas, answered the bear family. That was the Berenstein Bears and the Joy of Giving. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know we usually love a Berenstein Bear book. So I'll see you next time on Read With Me, LG.